Good morning everyone and welcome to Dad is a Joke Retro Rock and Gamer Weekend Report episode number 10. We made it to 10. Can you believe that? Uh, this is going to be for Saturday, June 3rd, 2023. Okay folks, we got some information here that I want to go through. And um, at the end, I got a special little um, thing. I forget the uh, technical term for it, uh, what it is, uh, or a fe ah, it's a feature um, that I'm going to be doing once in a while, and um, you'll see, you'll see. It, it, I'll I'll introduce it when we get there. Okay, so let's start off. Uh, do, 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 do. Okay, so I forgot to mention last weekend that Doodle Taxi uh, was available on uh, the uh, the Atari VCS store. But the cool thing about it is I ended up getting it and I did a review. So uh, if you're watching this, just go through you, uh, my YouTube channel and you can find the, the, um, the review of the game. And the game is very cool. I highly recommend it. It's a, it's a great game. Um, do, do, do. Okay, so um, let's see here. Going on, uh, going off Atari for a minute, uh, Evercade has released a whole bunch of new games. So if you are an Evercade collector, uh, they've released a whole bunch of stuff that seems uh, pretty cool. I am I like the idea of it, but I mean, uh, do I need to go through that money thing again? Anyways, it would be cool, but I can't. Anyway, um, <laughs> let's see here. Uh, do -do. Uh, I talked about that. Ah, here's a th here's another thing. What I've been noticing online, guys, um, with from Facebook to Twitter to all the social media, I've been noticing a lot of people are starting first timers dipping their toes into the Atari VCS with the Memorial Day uh, sale. People are buying. VCSs and that's cool. I'm I, I think that's awesome. Um, how can you say I'm glad people are finally seeing it that you know there's lots of games out there. There's a lot of talk about it. There's a lot of stuff coming out for it. Uh, you know how how much more do you need to be convinced that this is going to be a stable and good long time platform? Hmm. Compared to the Amico, which segues nicely to the two exclusive games that were supposed to be for the Amico will be on the Switch. And this is from uh, at Intellivision and the BBG uh, Entertainment uh, uh, deal that they just created. So there's two games now going from Intellivision to BBG Inter Entertainment in Germany. So if anybody still has hopes for the Amico, I'm sorry. <laughs> Intellivision is starting to sell off their their IPs to either stay afloat or have some sort of presence so they can, you know, claim money from their IPs or whatever. So I don't think the, the Amico is going to be coming out anytime soon. I, I don't even think it's going to be coming out at all anymore, to be quite honest with you. Um, and that's a shame because not because of it being an, you know, an Intellivision product or another product that could be sold on the market for retro gamers. It's just a shame that somebody really fucked this up so huge. Do you know what I mean? And I don't want to name names, Tommy. So that's, that's the thing. I mean, when you blow something up that big, why are you even in business? Well, live and learn, I guess. Uh, some insider information. Uh, our good friend Dappa at Atari is currently testing three games. Hmm. So we don't know what they are, but he's testing three games. So that's cool. Three games. Guys, there's more shit coming out. How much more can I repeat this? I mean, I'm getting fl I can't even keep up with the reviews. I can't. Uh, da, da, da. let's see here. Uh, da, da. 
That's it. You know what? There hasn't been a lot of a lot of news this week, unfortunately. I mean, really good, juicy, you know, news and stuff like that. Um, well, I was thinking uh, the other day. Oh, wait, let me find that. It might take too long, but let me see if I can find it. Is I made a point of how are the Intellivision fans going to feel with the Intellivision games being, you know, that uh, good old uh, uh, Wade Rosen bought uh, the intellect, the IPs for the uh, for the um, for the uh, Atari version of the Intellivision games, which was the M Network uh, games. How are people going to feel like in television diehards? I'm not talking about the guys who will go, eh, okay, whatever. The diehards are going to feel of, you know, especially with the Amico going that way. How are they going to feel with the, with with their games being on the Atari console? I don't know. I mean, if, we, if we're all grown up about this, which we're usually not, um... This can cause some issues, but I always I always like to think that everybody's responsible and nice and we're all deal with it. And what the hey, eh? If you can deal if you can if if you can if you really want to play new versions of those uh intelligent vision games, you're just gonna have to get an Atari VCS. And that's fine. There's nothing wrong with that. Okay. Hmm. Uh, do, 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 do. uh, do I have any more stuff? Okay, some house cleaning stuff, guys. I think I, I don't honestly, I don't have a lot of information this this week, and it's it's a shame. But right after this, you're gonna love the new segment. I hope you do. I had fun doing it. Uh, I was inspired by someone a long time ago doing something like that. So, I hope you enjoy it. And I think that might be the topper for this thing. Okay. Now, uh, everybody who subscribed to me on YouTube, um, thank you very much. We're at, what are we at now? I think we're about, we're almost at 500. And everybody who tried to help me get, get to 1,000 on my birthday, I truly appreciate it. We never really made it, but at least we bumped up quite a bit, and I really appreciate that. I mean, I'm happy about that. Because honestly... When I go back and watch some of my videos on YouTube, YouTube's putting ads on my stuff, and I'm not getting money for that. It's all going to YouTube or, realistically, Google. So, you know what? If you guys can help me get to 1,000 subscribers plus, you know, including the hours, and then I can start getting that money back because of all this work I've been doing. Uh, so, let's try this. September 1st, Labor Day, Okay. Let's try for a thousand plus subscribers at that point. That gives us enough time, and I would really appreciate doing that. It's just I think the money that Google's taking away from me or YouTube's taking away and putting in their pockets, typical big corporate juggernauts, you know, uh, what's the word again? Um, not selfish, greedy, corporate greed. Let's give it back to the little guy. Okay, guys. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to now preface what this is happening. This new segment that's going to be coming up just about in a second, once I shut up, uh, is called Off the Wall. And what I'm going to be doing is talking about just rumors, you know, information and stuff like that that comes out of Atari where it can be discussed and what i'd love to do is if you feel you need to chime in on this please chime in on the youtube um, uh, comment section and let's have a discussion about this because it's interesting okay here it is here it comes Whoop. and welcome to off the wall now what we're going to be doing in this segment is we're going to be talking about the rumors and stuff that are happening at Atari. The sort of, we got hardware being made, or 
we got, we're closing some sort of deal and whatever. And this is where I sort of say my piece on this. Okay. So let's go back to the last weekend report when we were talking about the Atari hardware that was coming out. Now the Atari hardware that I was wanting was, and everybody probably knows, and you can all say it together, is that it was a USB cartridge adapter. So you can download, upload, or dump on the uh, on the VCS and play your Atari 2600, 5200, 7800, and Jaguar and blah, 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 blah. Well, there's only the links after that. But how about this? And this struck me, you know, you know when you're going to bed, right? And your mind just starts wandering, you start thinking about stuff. And you start thinking, wait a second. Atari built their reputation on physical media, right? Well, there was nothing else really back then in the 70s and 80s. You didn't have any digital media or anything like that. Well, you kind of did with floppies and stuff like that. Wow, my hair's a mess. Who gives a crap? Anyways, so here's the point. Maybe Atari's trying to do what Nintendo has been doing forever. Maybe they're coming up with a little USB dongle with an SD connection on it. So Atari can start selling physical media. Yeah, baby. That's one thing I would love to see is to see some physical media. Because I know everybody out there is really wanting some. It's obvious. I mean, you just go to all the forums, discussion places, chats, blah, blah, blah. Physical media still has that attraction, right? Even though it takes up a lot of space, but some people don't give a rat's ass. What people want is to be able to show off their collection. And that's what we should be able to do, right? So wouldn't that be cool if that happened? Also, other types of hardware I was thinking is spinner, right? And that spinner could come out with a copy of Major Havoc Recharged. How's that? Now remember, I get this information from nowhere. This all comes from up here, because I am psycho, right? But it makes sense, right? If you're gonna release a spinner, you can't have the spinner come out with Tempest already out and what have you already out, right? You need a new game to market with it, right? And that's what sells. We can have two items and you can market them together they sell. So wouldn't that be awesome? And then what about paddles, guys? What about getting the controller without the spinny thing on it, the classic controller, and just have a standard controller without the thing and make it stronger, okay, number one. And number two, and just come out with regular paddles. Bluetooth paddles and Bob's your uncle, but Will it work for some games? Don't know. Will it work for some games that are in development? Maybe. But we'll have to see. Anyways, guys, this, whoa, is off the wall. Okay, folks, that's it. I'm Dad is a Joke. This is the Weekend Review, Episode 10. Thanks for stopping by, and I hope you have a wonderful weekend. Take care, everybody.